This is the uh, second part. I already took my cutout pieces and glued them onto the paper around the hand. I try to keep it uh, flowing around the hand and not to over ride the hand in any way. So you don't want to take away from your hand, but you want to complement it with, with uh, cutout things from magazines or newspapers. Uh, the first thing I do is I get oil pastels that match what I glued on there. So I have these colors and I'm going to go ahead and start coloring in. Well, I don't have a purple. Is there a purple in there? I'm going to go ahead and put this color down here because I have purple here. So I want to bring it down here. I don't want to have just one color. I want to keep all the color flowing. So I'm going to put a purple here color solid. See the purple up there? Kind of take this purple and so what I'm going to do is use the colors that I have on the paper and blend with my oil pastels colors similar to those. For example, I'm, I'm going with this. Can you see that okay? Is that better? Yeah. This green fish. I'll extend it out. I even color over part of the uh, cutout. I'll have a blue. I did have a blue, but anyway, you get the idea. I'm trying to blend these colors and match them up to the scraps of paper I cut out so that it looks surreal. And you can talk to the students about surrealism and mixed media, fantasy. I'll try to put in colors everywhere. I'm not going to color my hand and I'll be busy enough coloring in just this outside area to complement the hand. There isn't any red in here, but if there were, it's a nice color. So you can color right over those papers. Yellow. So the students will be coloring everything solid around the hand, with over the collage and around the collage. They don't have to color completely over the collage, but just to blend in the edges. Just to blend in those edges right here. And at the end, you, they'll have a finished product like this. I got these from Old National Geographics, and I like having a bright color with a black and white hand. It's nice to accent the hand. And this is in your notebook. So that's it for the handscape.